War eagle, fly down the field. Ever to conquer, never to yield. War eagle, feelings are true. Fight on orange and blue. Go, go, go. Doctor, you'll always be home sweet home to me. Good old Rocky Top. Rocky Top, Tennessee. Seize the moment. That is what I had to do a decade ago with the weight of the volunteer nation on my shoulders. Manning back to throw, looking into the end zone for the post round. Touchdown, Big Orange! An SEC championship, four consecutive bowl bids, and a Heisman Trophy later. We help restore the glory to Auburn football. Now, in their final SEC game of their career, three Tiger seniors, all in the same backfield, quarterback, Jason Campbell. Here's Campbell, goes deep in the end zone. Go! It's Davey! And running backs, Ronnie H2 Brown. Ronnie Brown, touchdown! And Cadillac Williams. To Williams, walks in! All return for one more run at the title. This is the SEC Championship. The champion for 1997, the University of Tennessee Volunteers. Where age doesn't define the player, but where a player can be defined for the ages. Kick on the way, the kick is long and high. Good! For these three seniors, friends and teammates, their moment in time has arrived. A time to seize the moment. We welcome you to the SEC Championship presented by Dr. Pepper from the Georgia Dome in Atlanta. Second meeting of the season, the undefeated Auburn Tigers, their head coach, Tommy Tuberville. The twice defeated Tennessee Volunteers, their head coach, Philip Fulmer. First down and 10. Campbell fakes the handoff. He's going to throw downfield. He's got a wide open. Taylor at the 35, 40, 45 to midfield. Still on his feet. Into Tennessee territory and out of bounds at the 30 yard line. Bam! Just like that. Auburn into Tennessee territory. A 46 yard play from Campbell to Taylor. Well, what a play right there to start off this 2004 SEC championship game. Play action fake by Jason Campbell. Courtney Taylor winds up, actually lines up in the slot position and gets to the outside and does what they call a wheel route. Goes into the flat, turns it up, and wide open. Jason Campbell hits him on the dead run down inside the 35 to the 30-yard line. Taylor and Roma should do one to each side. Campbell's going to fake and roll right. Pass it to Wallace. Caught at the 15, to the 10, to the 5, to the 4. Kevin Burnett making the tackle, but not after Wallace picks up 20. Well, how about this drive so far by the Auburn Tigers? Again, a play action fake. Campbell fakes it to Carnell Williams this side over the wide side, comes on the bootleg, and Cooper Wallace drags from the strong side behind the Tennessee defenders, and Campbell, a perfect throw to the 18, down to the four, three and a half yard line. First and goal from the four. Two tight ends set. Tigers look like they may play a little power football here. Auburn knocking on the door early in the first. Campbell hands it off to Carnell Williams through the hole. Bounces off one tackle. Still on his feet. Fumbles the football. Still loose in the end zone. Then it falls on it. Touchdown Auburn. Touchdown Auburn. Tigers lead six to nothing. Well, sometimes you got to get a little bit lucky in this, this day and time. And that time, Auburn got lucky. Carnell Williams took the handoff over left tackle and got hit on the outside and fumbled it into the end zone. And Cole Bennett right there to come up with it. It was a mad scramble for a little while, but Bennett comes up. And what a drive by Auburn on the first series. 13-24 to go in the first quarter. John Ball will attempt the extra point. 
Out of the hold of Reeves. Puts it up and through. Tigers march it. 86 yards for the score. Snap to Campbell. A little shovel pass to Ronnie Brown. 40, 45. Breaks a tackle across midfield in the Tennessee territory at the 49-yard line. Jason Allen once again going backwards on the play. 13 yards for Ronnie Brown. Well, you know, Jason Allen is really dislikes Ronnie Brown because he made all the highlight films in the worst kind of way. Getting run right over. Well, Ronnie Brown did it again right there. The shuttle pass, the Utah pass from Jason Campbell ran right over Jason Allen again. Another defender had to just hang on for dear life. Carnell Williams behind Campbell is under center. They'll drag uh, Obamanu in motion from left to right. Hand off to Carnell Williams around left end. Makes a man miss at the 35. 30, 25, far sideline, 20, and out of bounds there at the 20-yard line. It's another first down, and the Tigers eating up chunks and chunks of yardage, 14 for the Cadillac. Well, Jonathan Wade just got tricked right out of his boots. He came up at the cornerback position. He thought he had a tackle on Carnell Williams. He didn't even touch him. Carnell Williams just sidestepped and said, hey, get out of my way, and he went 14 more yards down the left sideline. Ronnie Brown runs over him. Carnell leaves him reaching for air. Shotgun formation on first down for Campbell. First and 10 Tigers at the Tennessee 20. Taylor comes in motion, lines up as a receiver to the right. Toss it back to Williams, short side of the field. Carnell angles for the pylon. He's in! Touchdown! Tigers! Carnell Williams from five yards out. Makes it 13 to nothing, Auburn, with 8.35 to go in the first quarter of play. And that play was all put up by Marcus McNeil, the left tackle. He pulled outside and led the blocking at 6'9", 332 pounds, toss sweep into the boundary. Carnell Williams does the rest, gets hit at the two-yard line, but he would not be denied. Auburn's up two touchdowns. Jason Allen took a pretty good lick again. Third down play coming up. Snap to Clawson from his own 19. He's looking right all the way, throwing, and it's almost picked off by Rodgers. Oh, if he'd have picked that one off, it would have been six the other way. Again, three and out for the Volunteers on the incompletion out around the 34. Campbell drops back to throw. Throws right, wide open, caught at the 25, 30, up ahead of the 35, still on his feet. Courtney Taylor across the 40 to the 41. First down, Auburn, 26 yards. Campbell to Taylor. Corey Campbell with the tackle. Boy, this guy, after he catches the ball, he turns into a running back. Jason Campbell, play action fake, throws the out route to Courtney Taylor. Good, sharp throw by Campbell, but watch Courtney Taylor just breaking tackles left and right, becoming a running back and just will not come down. Daniels now goes in motion from left to right, and they'll fake the reverse. Campbell is going to throw deep. Pump fakes. Now he'll have to run left. He's got room. 45, 50, 45, 40, 35, and out of bounds near sideline at the 32-yard line. How about that 50-year senior? 27 yards on the game. Well, what a play right there. It was going to be a trick play. They fake it up the middle to Ronnie Brown. They fake the reverse to Silas Daniels. Jason Campbell's got all day to throw it. He wants deep. No, he wants short. But now, hey, I think I'll tuck it and run it for 27 yards. Down to the 32-yard line of Tennessee. First down and 10, Auburn. Daniels now the wide out to the right. Campbell in the shotgun. Hands it off. No, fakes it to Carnell. Back of the end zone. Wide open. Taylor. Touchdown. Tigers. What a beautiful play call and execution. Jason Campbell to Courtney Taylor. The shotgun snap. Fake it to Carnell Williams. The pop pass to Courtney Taylor. That, my friends, is an NFL-type execution. Great play. Touchdown, Auburn. Taylor was having a sandwich in the back of the end zone. He was open. All he had to do was put the hands on it. Third down and 11 for Auburn from their own 14-yard line. Campbell takes the snap, steps up in the pocket, fires across the middle. It's caught by Ronnie Brown at the 30. Lowers his head to the 33-yard line. Jason Mitchell with the tackle. 20 yards for the first down. Good play right there. Jason Campbell finding Ronnie Brown kind of in the delay route over the middle. Guns it in there on a third and long situation. And Ronnie Brown just using his brute strength to get out to the 33-yard line. First and 10 Auburn now from their 33. The first and 10 Auburn from their own 47-yard line. 
Campbell to throw on first down. He's going to go deep. Aroma Shadu's got it at the five. In the end zone. Touchdown. Auburn. Aroma Shadu. 53 yards. Auburn back on top. We talked about Aroma Shadu in the pregame. Look for him to step up and have a big day right there, just as he did in the Alabama game to get Auburn on the ends in the scoreboard. He does it again. Play action fake. Jason Campbell throws a beautiful bomb down the sideline, and Aroma Shadu just turns on the speed to go back on top. 28-21. 3.45 to go in the third quarter. Rashawn Fellows and Jason Allen beat on the coverage. Vaughn to attempt the extra point. It's good. 28-21 Tigers with 3.45 to go in the third. Auburn back on top. Vaughn 8 of 11 this season. The snap placed by Reeves. Kick is up, and the kick is good. John Vaughn gives Auburn a 10-point lead. 31-21 Tigers with 11.46 to go in the championship game. Second down. Campbell takes the snap. Another flag on the play. Campbell's going to go deep for Obamanu. Near sideline. It's caught. He's in. Touchdown, Auburn. 43 yards. That's exactly the way that play is supposed to work. You do a hard count, make them jump off. Now, Jason Campbell's got a free play, and they stay with it, and they throw the play action fake and throw it deep. That play worked to perfection. Offsides against Tennessee, and again, it's Turk McBride, the left tackle, who jumped offsides, and Auburn leads 37 to 28 with 6.56 to go. Typically, the referee's supposed to let the play continue unless a defensive guy comes untouched. That time, McBride jumped off. Auburn stayed with it. The referees kept the play on. He throws it deep. He has nothing to lose. Ben Obamanu comes down with the touchdown to go up by 10. Seventh touchdown of the year for Obamanu. Vaughn for the extra point. It's up, and it is good. With 6.56 to go, the Tigers back on top by 10. 38-28 over the Tennessee Volunteers. Fourth down and two. This could be your ball game right here if Auburn can stop them. Clawson from the shotgun, changing his play. Down to nine, down to eight, down to seven on the play clock. Clawson waits for the snap, gets it. Quick throw out in the flat. It is incomplete. Incomplete at midfield. Boy, that time again, Tony Brown, Rick Clawson made the right read. Auburn brought a blitz off of the slot receiver. Tony Brown could not come up with the catch. Clawson threw it. It was a little bit behind Brown, but a very catchable ball. And Auburn takes over in Tennessee territory. Now, Auburn, they need to go down and drive it and get another score. High backfield. Handoff to Carnell. Dives, stops, spins, gets it. Second effort. First down, Auburn to the 32. What a play by the senior from Atala, Alabama. Second effort, diving over the left side, keeping his legs churning, and second effort gets him the first down. Jason Mitchell delivered the hit that appeared to stop him, but he just didn't wrap up. Campbell will hand it off to Carnell Williams. Jumps over a defender at the 30, 25, 20. Still on his feet. Hill 17-yard line. And you can tell that that defensive line is worn out. They're done now. That was a handoff over the right side. And that surge, Carnell Williams just kept going. And sooner or later, it was going to come 15 yards over the right side by Carnell Williams. And that takes him to the 100-yard mark. And you know what, Rod? Auburn could score again, but they're showing the class to not run another play. I'm holding an orange up here. What do you play, think? Play clock, game clock, and maybe a half second difference between the two. Philip Fulmer's already making his way out on the field. The Tigers are SEC champions and 12-0. For the first time since 1989, the Tigers can claim themselves the best in the best conference in the nation. 38-28, Auburn over Tennessee. War Eagle, everybody. The Tigers have gone 12-0.
don't care what they say on the outside. This team deserves to play for the national championship. They play the toughest conference in America. They dominated Tennessee two times this year. They, they took punches left and right from them. But I don't care what they say. They proved it on the field between the stripes. They need to be in the national championship game. This one's for the seniors. This is uh, this is special, guys. You know, in all the years and all the seasons, Auburn's played football. <clears throat> Auburn's never won 12 games in a year. You made the record books. These young guys in here hope to break it someday. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. But you listen up. You set the you set the precedent. It started in August. We didn't know how good we were. But we knew we had good players. New head coaches are going to work hard. I'm proud of every one of you. Those fans out there are proud of you. Because when you go through adversity like you've gone through and overcome it, you've accomplished something. It's going to make a better person out of you. You look at it, you'll look back someday. You'll look back someday and you'll thank the good Lord for what he gave you this year. Because I'm telling you, been been in this business 30 years. It don't get any better than this. I'm proud of every one of you. You've done a tremendous job for Auburn. You've done a tremendous job for the SEC. You've done a tremendous job for college football because what you stand for <coughs> is what the game's all about. And you know, it's, it, it, it's, it's tough to get words, put words together of what this all means. And it'll, it'll hit you one day. You'll look back and go, how in the world did we do that? You did it because you had class and you had character and you believed in each other. I want to thank yeah. all of you, especially the seniors. You guys did a great job. We couldn't have done it without you, obviously, with the leadership. As, as I've been telling the media, we've just been driving a bus and watching you guys play and lead because you've done a super job. One guy I really want to thank because he's put this all together, Brother Chet. Yeah. 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 We've got a president, Dr. Richardson. You'd like to say a couple words, just a couple words to the guys? Right there would be fine. Right there would be fine. <laughs> uh, well, let me just say on behalf of Auburn University, I think the coach had just indicated, Coach Tubble has, we've never won 12 in a row. But I've also been informed there's no Auburn team that's ever beaten LSU, Georgia, Tennessee, and Alabama in one season. So that's another record I think you all yeah. On the leader of our state, Governor Riley, would you say just a couple words? Yeah, Coach, thank you. Fellas, I am so proud of you. All the people in Alabama are proud of you. Nothing means much without having to fight for it. And you fought your heart out tonight. And I'm telling you guys, I don't care what anybody says. The best coach in the United States is Tommy Tuberville, and the best team in the country oh, is all the Mike Slive got a couple of presentations. Jason. First one I've got is for the most valuable player today's game. And it goes to a man, and I was trying to find just the right word, and it goes to a man of dignity, courage, and quiet strength. So I think you have, tell me who it is. Jason. Take it in, take it in, take it in. Hey, man. Good job, 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 man. You know, uh, through everything we've been through, we stay together. You know, God always said, you know, saying through the tough times, you know, good things in the future. You know, God, you stuck together, man, play hard. This is a team award. And I just want to say thank you to Coach Borges, you know, coming in this year and the job he's done with me. And I just want to say appreciate you, Coach. I love you and I love all the coaches, baby. All yeah. my heart. Yeah. Yeah. Gentlemen, the next award is too heavy for me to pick up. But it goes, I, I watched the video, you folks have your video before the game. And it, 
it aptly describes this great, great football team. It talks about leadership, attitude, courage, faith, <coughs> all the things that have made this one of the greatest football teams in the history of the Southeastern Conference. No one in a long time has done what you did. And I just want to say one thing. Everybody's talking about the BCS. That's tomorrow. Today is your day. Oh, yeah. You've earned it. You have done something with your lives that people can't do. It's forever etched in your heart and in your brain and in your soul. Enjoy it. Don't let anybody talk to you about orange bowls, sugar bowls, any bowls. Take this in. Enjoy it. Congratulations. And you've done all of us proud. Thank you very much. Champions, this is your trophy.